Hey everyone, my name is Devin Jackson and I am the owner of Seven Cubes. I decided to kind of change things around. I have not been active on this YouTube channel in so long, simply because hair kind of became not a passion, but I wanted to share one of my true, true passions with you all, which is crystal candle making. So this channel will be dedicated to all crystal infused candle making things. Um, I want to show you guys how to make my crystal candles, my um, crystal infused body butters, my oils, and some different things. So this will be the journey um, of me just making my products and kind of sharing some things with you guys. Um, so today we are actually going to be making, they're not new candles for my collection, um, but they are kind of new in a new updated glass and scent. Um that I'm going to be launching. I've kind of relaunched and rebranded so much. Um, and these are going to be kind of going along with that new look. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys. Um, and also I want to give you guys some encouragement. Um, I don't know, it might be some fellow business owners or fellow candle makers that are watching this. And if you are, I just literally want to say, start that business. Um, if I waited until everything was perfect in order for me to start setting cube, I would have never started. Literally, things aren't still perfect right now. Um, I literally still make mistakes. I literally had a batch of candles that would not light. Um, and so I think perfection tends to keep us like stagnant. So if you're scared to start this business or start your business, if you're scared to start your business, let this be kind of your message to start your businesses. It might not be perfect, but it will get there. Um, so yeah, so come along with me as we make some candles. Okay, so I make crystal candles and um, how I like to do that is, well, not how I like to do that, but my process for doing it is before I start anything, I have to pray over everything. Um, I put intention over everything. So I'm just lighting my incense right now. We're going to smoke cleanse our jars. I'm just gonna smoke cleanse our jars and I'm putting good energy into these jars. These jars. Okay, so now that my jars are um, smoke cleanse, I am going to actually cleanse them with my cleansing alcohol. It has um, some crystal quartz in there. So I like to use that and I'm just gonna spray each of my jars and I'm just gonna clean them. Just because, you know, jars are shipped from the manufacturer, you don't know where they're storing them and you don't want any dirtiness or anything in your candles, at least I don't. Okay, so now that all of my jars are clean um, and clean with my cleansing alcohol as well as, as well as they've been smoke cleansed. I am now going to go in with my uh, easy wick setting tool. If you're a candle maker and you have not been introduced to this tool, I highly, highly encourage you to buy one. This has sped up production for me. Um, like it makes, it makes it so easy. You literally just put your wick and I'm using LX24s for this particular jar. I've already tested. Um, you put your wig and let me get a, um, a wig sticker. Y'all literally bought a whole roll of wig stickers from Candle Science, like probably over a year ago. And as you see, I'm still, still you, like still, I, I love using wig stickers. I do not use hot glue. I feel like that's artificial chemicals that I just do not want in my candle. So I do not use hot glue or easy 40. I don't believe in using all of that because those, once that candle burns, I feel like those give off toxins. And for me, I like my candles toxic free. Um, so you just put the wick setter in here. You just drop it down and pop back up. And it automatically places the wick in the center of the jar for you. Y'all, this has literally sped up production for me at least by, I would say at least by, honestly, placing wicks what is my longest part of getting things ready other than my wax melting. And for my wax melter, I use a digi boil. So that kind of helps me with being able to um, melt a lot of wax at once. So y'all, I love this tool. It is like 
the bees knees for me so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and get all of these wick okay so i have all of my jars cleaned and wicked. so now we're just waiting for my wax to melt honestly when it comes to candle making if you're looking for a shortcut you will not find one <laughs> You will literally have to spend your money and your resources um, in order to figure out what formula works just right for you. Um, and it does matter what region you're in, uh, temperature, altitude, all of that affects candle making and how your candles will come out. So um, I use a Cocoa 83 blend and um, my coconut wax has to heat up to at least over 200 degrees. Um, I personally like it to be around 220. By the time I kind of have it, um, and I'll show you guys, by the time I have it, I put it in my pour pitcher, it usually cools down about 10 degrees. Um, and you do, if you're working with coconut wax, anyone who works with coconut wax, you do need your wax to be hot when you put in your fragrance oil. If it is cold, the fragrance oil will not bind. Okay, so I do blend a lot of my fragrance oils. Like this is my Clarity fragrance oil. Um, and it is a mixture of different fragrance oils that I just love, found, and put together. It is a eucalyptus, spearmint, and peppermint. It's kind of my version of uh, Bath & Body Works Stress Relief. So a lot of people love this. If I find the scent to be really, really good on its own, I won't blend it like um, mango coconut. I love this scent. I feel like it does not need to be blended. It smells amazing on its own. Um, so this is one that I would just pour straight out. If you're looking for some oils, I have so many places I could recommend you to. Sierra Candle Supply, Midwest Fragrance Company, The Flame and Candle, Candle Science, um, The Scent Memory Co. There are a lot of fragrance oil places out here. Um, and their fragrance oils smell amazing. I will tell you to kind of buy maybe a, in a tester first before you commit to a big one. I have made the mistake of buying a 16 ounce and I did not like the fragrance. And, <laughs> and fragrance oil costs money. So definitely do your due diligence and test first. Um, kennel making, like I said, it is not easy. Um, if you're not passionate about it, you may just quit. Um, it is a lot of up and downs. Uh, it's really hard. A lot of people, especially in the summer months, a lot of people don't like to buy candles in the summer months. Um, and so what are you gonna do when your business, you're not getting those orders that you were seeing like around Christmas or the fall time? Are you gonna give up or are you going to kind of pivot? So you really have to be passionate if you want to be in this business. Um, and honestly, this is my calling. Crystal candles is what I do. So yeah, I'm very, very, very passionate about it. Okay, so this is my melter. And as I said, I use a Digi Boil. Um, if you talk to a lot of people, they will tell you they use a, a Digi Boil. So my wax is heated up, um, it's all melted. And so I am just going to take my kind of infrared heat gun and I'm gonna see what that temperature of the wax is. And right now it's at 214, so it only has a few more degrees until I'm able to go ahead and use it and pour my fragrance oil. Okay, so like I said, candle making is a science. So when I am pouring out my fragrance oils, I like to get it exact. So I use this small scale that's able to kind of um, weigh very accurately in small amounts. Um, and then I use a... Honestly, I use whatever to pour. Just do not use anything plastic or paper because fragrance oil will eat through it. I have learned the hard way. So I like to use glass um, or I'll use like a steel pot type of thing. But honestly, glass is just fine for me. I like to measure out in grams. Um, so I am going to actually make our king candle first. And this is a brand new candle. It honestly just came to me. I have a queen candle already. And I was just like, you know what? I need a king candle, kind of like a masculine. I have like a divine feminine, kind of like this is the divine masculine counterpart to it. Um, and when I smelled this scent, I just was like, yeah, this scent is amazing. It smells so good. Um, so yeah, I am just going to pour out my fragrance oil. Over here is where I have my wax melter set up. I showed you guys, I have a scale over here so that I make sure I am, you know, making sure that everything is correct. The wax is just pouring in here. So now we're just going to give this a quick stir. Coconut uh, wax does not need to be stirred long, unlike soy wax. Soy wax, you need to stir for a while. Coconut wax, 
it's good to go, especially when you're mixing it while it is hot. So this is my piston funnel that I got from Amazon. I love to use it to pour. Um, it just helps me with spills and different things and just makes the wax pouring process that much easier. So I just pour my wax and my fragrance oil in here that's already been stirred and combined. And now I'm just going to fill my candles up. And you kind of, you don't want to pour too fast because I have poured too fast before with coconut wax and it did create kind of a, um, uh, air pocket where the wick is. So you do not want to pour too fast. You kind of just want to pour very steady. of my candles are starting to set a little bit not too much this is my wick holder jar i just have what i used to trim my wicks in here and then i have my preferred method of wick holders i got these from candle science i really like these opposed to these just because um the the these give you more range, like depending on where your jar is. You know, sometimes these won't sit in the jars correctly. So I just use these and I'm just gonna go ahead and wick my candles. So I just pull the wick straight up, put it down. I'm just gonna slide the wick in there and then I'm just gonna go ahead and wick all of these candles. Um, I like for them to set a little bit. I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> It's just my preferred. And also, we are making crystal infused candles. So I don't make my candles, you know, I'm, it's not just a pour and done. As I was pouring my candles, I was infusing my good healing energy into these candles. Um, each candle has a different meaning. Each candle has a different crystal. Each candle does a different thing. Um, I, for people who want to kind of um, raise their vibrations, um, and maybe they're spiritual already, but they want to become more, maybe more enlightened, enlightened is for them. And then I also have my Divine Feminine candles for those who are maybe always in their masculine energy, and maybe they need some help kind of getting that feminine energy in. This is what my Divine Feminine candle does. Um, and so this is going to kind of be the end of this first video. I am going to film a part two um, for you guys to see how I dress the top of my candles as well as how I label my candles. Um, but yeah, so this is the end of the first video. If you guys have any questions, just leave them below. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let me pull this up. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you guys want to see something else or if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I do have a couple ideas, like I want to make some money oil on here as well as um, show you guys how to make my body butters um and different things like that so if you guys have any questions just leave them below thank you so much if you stay to the end of watching this video